So a big hi to Krishna Shroff and Iban. And thank you so much. This is one of the, I think, the most rare chats that one will get to see on digital platform. And thank you once again for being there. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. Iman, this is your first appearance, I think, you're talking. And, uh, you know, it is such a delight to be, you know, you sitting there with Krishna. And uh, let's start with you. I mean, where exactly are you at this point of time? Right. Um, sorry, I didn't hear the last part. Where, where exactly are you at this time? Yeah. Well, right now we're in Bombay, in Bandro. I'm here with Krishna and her family. Um, you know, this, it was kind of unexpected for it to just have a lockdown. So, um, you know, we, I was blessed to be here with her and her family. And it, it's been an amazing time so far, you know. Uh, spending quality time together. I just think it's a blessing that I'm getting a chance to be here in Bombay with Krishna and spend quality time with her. And, uh, you know, we all try to stick in and be positive right now about the situation. That's the best thing we can do is leave it in you know, the hands of the, the government and hopefully we can find a, a vaccine soon enough so everyone can get back to the day to day. Krishna, you must be at least happy that Iban is near you, you know, and I mean, uh, it would have been a very different situation. I mean, had you been, you know, God forbid, away from him for 20 days or 40 days, I don't know how long this is going to last. Yeah, it's, it's honestly, it's, like you said, it's been a blessing, you know. Uh, we're really lucky because I'm hearing so many stories about how people are away from their loved ones. And I just think having him here um, has been really good because we push each other, you know, to still stay on top of everything. So... We're trying to be as productive as possible in our time um, at home, uh, staying on top of our workouts, you know, trying to, trying to be creative and create our own videos, shoot some content. Um, yeah, so it's, it's been good because I think the two of us um, are really good at pushing each other. You know, we're not allowing each other to get lazy, which is really easy <laughs> during this time. So, yeah, it's been, it's been a blessing to have him here. Thank you. So, so how are you guys keeping in touch with uh, mom, dad, tiger? How, how is it? I mean, connection, how is it? How is it? I mean, mom's here. She's actually in the living room right now. Um, you know, tiger, of course, tiger lives here too. Um, unfortunately, dad's been stuck at our farmhouse you know, yeah. ever since. Um, he was there for the weekend before lockdown was announced. And then they, they announced lockdown. And then he wasn't able to come back. So he's pretty much been gone the entire time. Uh, we haven't really had a chance to really spend any time with him. Uh, but thanks to you know the digital, digital age, uh, we have FaceTime, so we've been we've been keeping in touch on video call. Um, so yeah, but other than that, the rest of the family's been together. We, we, we've all been here. Ivan, uh, how I mean, you are basically an outdoor person, and I think uh, Krishna too. So, how much is the frustration level? How much are you bored? You know, I mean, all said and done, you're watching this, you're watching that is fine, which I'll come to uh, ask you what exactly are you watching on uh, OTT or TV or, you know, whatever. But uh, how much bored are you? You know, when you get up in the morning, what's that first feeling, you know, and, and then in the night, what's the feeling? Well, when we wake up in the morning, it still feels like, you know, it's a dream. So, sometimes you wake up like it's still it's actually happening. But we, you know, we get the day going and uh, like we said, like Krishna myself said, we do things uh, that we enjoy, like, you know, to keep ourselves busy, you know, whether it's the, the, the fitness stuff or you know, I, I create music too and write, I write and look here, right? So we do a lot of things like that. Uh, we work with each other and uh, we try to watch, you know, movies. We try to watch Hollywood and Bollywood films when we get a chance, you know, um, just so we can you know, also get some downtime just so we can relax and not you know, have to do too much. But uh, yeah, we, we've been blessed to be here because we get a chance to go out in the balcony and get some sun on us. And that feels like outdoors. So, um, you know, I think seeing how the environment is right now and the fresh air and, you know, uh, the sun coming through, it's, it's, been, it's been amazing. Come, I think it's a blessing that we have each other and what we have. So we're trying to be positive about it and we hope everyone can do the same too. Krishna, what's your, uh, what are you watching? What exactly are you watching on television or OTT? Honestly, I don't know. I feel like I never really have a choice because when Tiger is around, um, it's it's mainly you know Jackie Chan. Ivan loves Jackie Chan films too, so 
basically their word against mine. I never really have, have a say in what movies we watch in the night. But um, yeah, it's cool. I mean, I'm, I'm able to catch up on a bunch of classics that I haven't seen before. So yeah, it's been, it's been good. It's, it's, you know, I'm not complaining. So a big gap line is, sorry, sorry, yeah, please go. Sorry, I lost you there. Uh, we get to watch the Jackie Chan old movies, but we watch the Hindi subtitles. Mm -hmm. so, Hindi dub. Hindi, sorry, Hindi dubbing, you know, so it's like we're getting a chance to, you know, see a good movie as well. Because Jackie Chan, the thing that he, you know, his stunts are amazing, it's really fun to watch him. And he also has the comedy aspect to it. So the action comedy, it, it works every time. And we're always laughing and, and you know, enjoying the scenes. But uh, Iban, can you also, I mean, you also are a fan of Jackie Chan, I, I'm guessing, right? but uh, I mean, I, it's evident here, rather. Yeah. But uh, yeah. you and Tiger must be bonding a lot over that, I mean. Yeah, we, we have a whole lot more in common than people think because uh, we really met when we were playing basketball together. And that was our initial um, connection to basketball. And, you know, I think it's, we knew straight away our personalities connected. And our birthdays are only a few days apart, so we had a lot in common. And I think that's why we were able to stay friends throughout this time. And now, because, uh, you know, everyone's had such a busy schedule. I've been traveling around the world, and he's been busy, you know, becoming a superstar, megastar. So, you know, everyone's had less time to catch up as much, but this thing has brought everybody together. And, you know, we're able to spend more time than we you know, normally wouldn't have. So it's been great. We get to work out together. And you know, hanging out, Joe. We're playing a lot of board games, you know, Uno and um, you know, Monopoly, Ludo, Snakes and Ladders. You know, it's just card games. There's so many things to do. We don't realize and we take advantage of. So this is helping us really take a step back and slow things down and get to spend that quality time, which is uh, so important. Yeah. So Krishna, uh, this big star at your home now, especially after war. Uh, uh, do you have any uh, aspirations again to, you know, just try your hand at Bollywood? I remember you assisted uh, in one movie and then said, Nahi bas, abhi mera, mera ye kaam nahi hai. But uh, again, uh, you know, any temptations of going back there? I mean, not really any temptations. You know, I initially, there was always a pressure because I feel like when you come from a certain background or, you know, a certain family, people automatically expect you to want to do that. Mm. But I don't know, I've always been one to follow my own passion and I kind of, um, I did, I did give my shot at film, but I was never really too keen on being in front of the camera. I was really interested in what went on behind the camera. So I've given my, you know, I've given a shot at production, um, direction, I've worked on a bunch of music videos uh, back in Dubai when I was living there for two years. So I've done, you know, I've done my bit here and there, but I don't know, it's, it's just something in me that never really you know, I didn't really feel that passion that I see my my brother has, that my brother has for it, you know. So for me, I kind of chose to follow my own path and steer away from that and, you know, kind of flow into fitness and trying to grow fitness in our country, kind of take that movement forward. That's right. Iban, what's the future plan? I mean, kya hai plan aage, what you want to do exactly and where you want to reach? I mean, what's your goal? Yeah, well, we, we have a lot in common that way because, uh, you know, we've been blessed to have had an opportunity to play sports and uh, still, you know, kind of stay and be involved in it. So it's helped us be fit and healthy. But we want it to be, you know, we want it to be more of a, because I think that's the thing we've been missing in India is the sports factor, like, and all sports being here, you know. Uh, once kids have those options, they can choose what sport works for them. And I've been blessed to play professionally overseas internationally. Uh, you know, basketball at the professional level. It's been amazing for me to get to see the world through this game and it's taught me a lot of life lessons and skills. Mm -hmm. you know, so I think um, I want to keep my important is for the fitness and other things, whether you make it professionally or not. I think kids should learn to play a sport because they learn about teamwork and leadership and you know how to deal with stressful situations. Uh, you, know, you learn a lot of skills that you can use for the rest of life. So we want to bring it, you know, and help that grow in India. So I think it will uh, that's kind of been our focus to help grow sports and fitness. So we, we have a few of our academies. That I've, I've just watched something called International Basketball Academy. And, um, you know, we, we're looking to do something together, uh, you know, with sports and fitness for, for young kids to stay active, but also adults who just want to stay fit and, you know, find other ways of doing it rather than, you know, uh, 
when we just to the gym. So we want to give them the gym and an you know, alternative, like you know, being competitive, maybe playing social leagues and stuff like that. So we run competitions for them. That's just a good way. Like I feel like sports gives um, you know kids the opportunity to channelize the energy in a very positive right. way. So right. I think that's that's one thing that's, you know, a vision that we shared and we, we really got along uh, just instantly because we connected on that. Exactly. Uh- Let's take the example of Kabaddi, uh, Ivan, and uh, you know uh, how it became popular because you know uh, uh, some film stars were roped into this whole uh, program and yeah. all this. So, do you have any such plans of you know getting uh, some uh, film actors into this you know uh, umbrella and uh, yeah. raising the levels of uh, you know the popularity of the game in India? I mean, it just goes hand in hand. You know, I think uh, you look and see what's happened with the IPO and Kabaddi. And it's just a matter of time with NBA that we get the right people behind it as well. And, uh, you know, people want to see it's a fun game to watch and also play. So once it gets more aware and popular, and once we have more infrastructure, I think uh, basketball being an indoor court, mm. we can play all year round. Once we have indoor courts, uh, we're not worried about the monsoon rains or the hot sun. You know, kids can play or adults can play all year round. So that's, you know, that's the advantage that it has, uh, where some sports are just outdoor. Uh, but the good thing is that it's outdoor and indoor sport, and uh, you know it's, it's a good way to keep it. So I think we're excited that what, what, when people get behind it, the right people get behind it as well, it's going to get bigger and better. And sports and entertainment, I feel like, have always gone Yeah, hand they hand. go hand in hand, exactly. So the biggest entertainer so far has been cricket here. I mean, but are you uh, the one of those rare persons, you know, who's not interested in cricket, uh, Iman? No, not at all. I grew up actually playing cricket and football uh, first. Those were my two main sports. And I was excelling in both sports. Uh, but uh, what had happened that we, we shifted overseas to Australia when I was a teenager from, from Pune. Yeah. My father passed over when I was young. When I went there, uh, football wasn't uh, as big and neither was cricket. It was really rugby or basketball. And I tried rugby and I think it was a bit, a bit rough. So I was like, you know what, let me play a sport where I don't have a major injury. And that's how I got introduced to basketball. So I started playing basketball very, very late, but I was determined to, you know, I fell in love with the game, so I put my time and belief in it, and I was blessed to get a scholarship to the U.S. on the uh, you know, basketball and then play professionally, internationally. So I think those are the things that have really helped. But I love cricket, and I still play cricket, and I'm very, I'm very passionate about the game, and I love that how India does so well still. So we have a lot of talent in India, you know. It's just that cricket is the only sport that really we've been able to really uh, – Put at that level, they have the, oh, the first pro league that came in here, IPL, and look how well it's done. And it's taking cricket to another level. So it's the same thing I see for other sports, you know, like comedies and footballs and basketball, you know, tennis. These things are all coming. So in the next few years, if you're a young kid growing up right now, you should be excited that there's an opportunity to be a professional uh, athlete in India. So who are your favorite cricketers, Krishna and Ivan? I mean. <laughs> My thought is, uh, such a, you know, Tendulkar is always the all-time greatest. You can beat the guy on and off the court, amazing person, personality, what a, what a batsman, you know, he's a legend. Krishna? I'm going to be honest and say I don't follow cricket at all. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm one of those rare people who, who don't really follow it. But, um, I mean, I'm always one to push, you know, um, any sport. And the fact that that's been able to, you know, reach such levels and such heights. I'm really proud. So I said I'm going to come back very soon to your dad, who must be evidently worried at the farmhouse about his kids and uh, Iban, you also. But uh, before that, you know, the time is right to switch over to your love story because everybody really wants to know where you all met, how you all met, how you all bonded, who proposed first, and where is it going? It looks very strong, but yeah, I mean, I want to know the story. Thank you. I like to hear him talk about it, so I'll let him speak first. Let's let's have a joint. I mean, let's let's but let both of you speak on that. Love is a two-way thing, isn't it? I just say where we where we met first. You know, it's, uh, it's almost a year ago. Um, we met actually it was my first or second time going to Soul House, and I, I met Krishna there. But it's real, really enough that her brother and me have been friends for about seven to eight years now. Uh, I just think it was the first time us meeting. The timing was good. And, uh, you know, we had a chance to really connect and we became really good friends first. Um, so it was always, you know, that for us. And then we kind of just fell in love from there. And uh, when we got, you know, when we made those decisions, because I think we have so much in common and we, 
get home so well. That's why it was much easier to, to be around. I mean, we spent almost every day around each other. So that's when we knew that, hey, it's, it's the, you know, it's not this friendship anymore. So I think it's, it's been great. And someone to talk to, communicate, like we both find very easy to talk to each other and listen to each other as well. Yeah, I think what makes our foundation so strong is the friendship that we share. You know, like we're able to be super comfortable with each other, just make each other laugh 24 seven. Like we can be, we can do nothing all day, but we're going to be like cracking each other up all day about something or the other. So I think just, just having that friendship, you know, and not, not losing that has been, has been what's made us remain this strong, I guess. Yeah. That is cemented. I understand that. But tell me, when did that friendship turn into attraction? I mean, which was that moment, which was that day or which was where you remember that you felt, okay, now I need to tell her that I love you or I'm, in, I'm really keen to have a relationship with you. Each, both of you. So yeah, I was saying, um, he, he was talking about how we met at Soho House that first night. So it's funny because I was with a friend of mine and I remember she actually pointed Ivan out, you know, to me. And she, she was like, um, because you, that guy is so your type. So the whole like attraction, the physicality part, that was like instant, obviously, you know, he's, he's a very attractive guy, uh, completely my type. Um, <laughs> But I think I think over time it became much stronger because once I started to get to know him, you know, the fact that we shared so much of the same interests, shared the same vision, um, you know, like I said, that comfort level, uh, just being able to get so comfortable and have so much in common so quickly, um, help those feelings uh, much more. Iban, from your side, you found her attractive right on day one and you felt that, yeah, maybe this girl is the one I am want to have a long lasting relationship with sorry i didn't hear you i think the volume has been cutting in yeah, and i'm sorry i said i said was love or attraction even from day one along with your friendship you know were you attracted to her right from the beginning or you know i mean yeah, yeah. i think you know, when you first see somebody it's the attraction thing that was real but then when you get to know somebody better and you see their personality i think the attraction can go stronger or regardless Absolutely. for us Ours, ours grew much stronger because of the personalities that we have are so similar. I always tell her, like, you know, she reminds me of, like, you know, like my mother and stuff like that. Because, you know, I think at the end of the day, you, you look at people, you want to be like, I want to be like our parents, you know, like I want to, you know, be like my father. Or whatever, you know, it's just that kind of mindset. But the things that she says and how she carries herself, uh, the respect that she has, you know, what I mean? all those qualities is what we look for. And uh, I think that's what made our attraction so much more stronger and our love so much more stronger. And it's funny because everyone, all our friends always say, I'm the female version of him and he's right. the dude version of me. <laughs> so Krishna, uh, who said those three magical words first? I mean, did uh, Iban say that or you say that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. He said, he said it first, but I mean, I didn't even have to think about it. You know, I just instantly said it back. Like it was, it was supernatural. It just came, came very easily. Did you share it instantly with your mom and dad? Or you kept it a secret for some time? Or did they know? You know, parents have a hunch. Oh, did you know? Did the parents know or did the media say something first? <laughs> I almost feel like Honestly, something like, I, don't, I don't even really remember. I think, no, I, I do. I remember because my mom and I share, you know, my mom and I are more, we share a really great friendship. So she's, she's more like my best friend, you know, yeah. we, we communicate about everything. So I know when I first met Ivan, I, um, like every girl does, stalked the hell out of him on Instagram. And um, I remember showing my mom like photos and videos of him and stuff. And, you know, she was just like, oh, he's cute. And, yeah, so I think I told mom pretty, pretty instantly. Um, and then I think, I mean, Tiger, Tiger figured it out himself because he kept Smart seeing girl. us um, you know. hanging out at the gym. Um, you know, initially, and Tiger works at our gym matrix, of course. So he kept seeing us together. And he was just like, you know, um, wondering why his friend's hanging out with me more than he's hanging out with him. Uh, but he figured it out. And then I think dad uh, found out once, I guess, the media started posting about us. Oh. Because then, okay. then I got a text message from him. Yeah. Dad is sometimes in his own world uh, and got it late, I guess. <laughs> 
Sorry? I said, your dad is sometimes in his own world and maybe got it late. <laughs> no, dad's, I mean, I feel like um, everyone wants to be in dad's world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's very, very lovable and a very cute person. I mean, the fan following that he has is, I, I, I see him in shows, I see him, whenever I see him, you know, there's that uh, charisma, which I think many of us, or many of the actors really don't have. But coming back to you two, um, so there was absolutely no opposition from mom or dad, even that one line, that why, why, maybe a little bit of a discussion, you know? Not, no, not really, yeah. I mean, even my, da my dad, you know, he's a man of very few words. Um, I didn't really have a discussion with him directly because um, I'm, I'm much closer to my mom in that way. When it comes to certain subjects, I'm more comfortable speaking to my mother, you know. Um, but when, I think when dad found out, he just, he just sent me a text message saying, seems like a nice chat, that's it. Like, and that was more than enough for me. So, um... Yeah, I mean, I don't think there was ever really any opposition. They, they've been pretty good with, you know, giving me my freedom and trusting my judgment and knowing that um, I'll make the right decision eventually. And Tiger too, you know, brothers are a little protective when they realize the first time that their sister is dating someone or maybe, you know, getting close to someone. Did he, uh, yeah. you know, fumble a little or did he... Did he uh, I think I've been lucky with my brother because we also... I've just been really blessed with all the relationships in my life, you know, like, um, even my brother and I, I mean, where he, of course, he has a little bit of that, you know, possessiveness because he's the older brother, I'm the younger sister, but um, the two of us are like best friends too, you know, we hardly ever fight, I, I'm super comfortable with him, um, I tell him everything, um, the fact that he knew Ivan before through basketball made it a lot easier because, you know, there was never really that awkward initial first meet with like breaking the ice or anything so so yeah it was cool i think the fact that i didn't really have to introduce them made it easier and he already kind of knew ivan as a person and i think they they both you know had the same understanding of respect for each other being athletes themselves not once did he say are you sure of what you're doing no no one okay i can imagine that i i as much i know of tiger jackie and aisha that you have a really a very very cool family. I mean, whenever I've interacted with them, there is not any much of a you know argument or a discuss discussion. You know, the way your dad and yeah. mom have been I during have interviews. I mean, I have the best family in the world. I think you're blessed. Agree. So that makes me ask you, when how is your equation with uh, Aisha and Jackie? Oh, well, every time I've met them, it's uh, spent time with them. It's been amazing because uh, they're such amazing, humble people. It's so grounded, and they really care when they ask questions. They don't just ask questions to do it all. You know, they they genuinely care, and they um, you know they really put their time. I know they've got a lot going on in their lives too, but they really do take the time to try to get to know me better, and you know, make sure I'm I'm comfortable and and, and look after you know while I've been here, I've been around. So it's it's been a blessing. You know, I always say they they're all angels. <laughs> you know, and I, I just, like I said, um, if I wasn't here right now with them, you know, it would have been much harder. Like I, I, I probably would have, you know, like it's, you really don't, you don't think about it as much when you have people that are constantly giving you, like, positive love. And, you know, you, I'm that kind of person as well. I, I'm always talking about positive things, so it's much easier. You know, they never really argue and fight or nothing. They always show so much love to each other. And that's what more of us should be like in this, in this day and age. So it's, it's really much, it's very comfortable being here with them. That's great. That's great. Because that, if you, once you get into that space, I think the journey ahead is much smooth because that initial yeah. awkwardness or that awkwardness is not there. So Honestly, this, I don't think that touch would. Since the time we spent time together from now to the start, they've always been really, uh, you know, they, they make it easy, not make it feel awkward or anything. It's, I feel like it's only... Sorry. Yeah. I just feel like it's it's only awkward if you make it awkward, you know. Right. And for me, I don't ever let anybody in the way I've let him in because I've never really been sure about anyone before, you know. So I think I'm I'm good with that where um, I need to be, you know, super sure in myself and my relationship to kind of let 
let that person into to this extent you know i think the stage is set there i totally agree with you you know when you said that it depends on how awkward you are because if you are comfortable i think it's a battle uh, more than half won it's not a battle even i mean at that point so that sets the stage i mean the rest is of course destiny but you know you are not making it you know uh, tough for yourself or tough for them or uh, how said there's a two way dialogue that i think that's beautiful thank you so much so uh, but uh, just one question more i mean uh, has jackie or uh, in particular jackie or aisha chalo abhi shaadi kar lo bahut dating ho gaya aisa kabhi sawal aaya no honestly my <laughs> my uh, my parents are very um, you know they've always told me take your time like there's no rush to get married thank god they're not one of those traditional mm-hmm. you know more conservative kind of parents who who force that on you i mean to each their own but um yeah i think i'm blessed there they kind of allow me to figure it out myself and and you know give me the time and the freedom because at the end of the day family is important yes but your relationship between the two of you you know no one knows your equation as much as the two of you because you're the ones in it you're the ones doing it every day so yeah i think um yeah they they haven't really ever pushed that um they kind of just leave it leave it on me so iban you see a lot of movies uh, can i ask you which is your tiger's best movie iban my i would have to say war right now because you know it's not every day that you get to see someone just you know like normally the hero stands out so much i totally agree Uh, I feel like Tiger really showed it's okay to be to play the bad guy and stand out and you know get that attention just as much as Rudy. I mean, they both did an amazing job, and I can't wait to possibly see War Two. If, if, you know, there's going to be, uh, but you know, I see there's so much uh, skill in, in Tiger, and you know, uh, not just as an actor, he's multi-talented. Like you know, he sings, dances, he's an athlete. You should see him play basketball. Like in the end, you all haven't seen him play ball. He's such a talented ball player. and football whatever he's able to do he's you know he does it when he puts his time to it and um i think it would be great for you know more people to see other things that he does um you know i think it's it's very rare to find someone have so many talents and then also be so humble and grounded you know even at the house when he's here he's not throwing his weight around nothing he, you know he's number respect number class so you know i think he's really good role model uh, for for kids of any kids all around the world His acting came to the fore in War. Uh, Rishna, do you agree with uh, Iban's choice that War is uh, Tiger's best till date? Yeah, I think um, performance-wise, uh, you know, as an actor, I think he really um, he really shined in War. Um, that was probably probably yeah my favorite movie too. But also, I think um, he's never looked better than he's looked in Bali Tree. Yeah. and i think he you know you always watch his movies and you're like oh my gosh how is he going to talk this action because you know action is always the, the big topic of this film because that's what yeah. his fans want um and i think with body tree he surpassed everything when it came to action right so it's it's commendable because it's not easy you know people always see the end result and are so quick to criticize or judge right. but without seeing what they go through uh, throughout the process of filming you know especially action especially someone who does action like tiger and does it all by himself you know so yeah i have nothing but respect and want to give major props to him for that you know just being able to keep doing better and better work right. um when you think he can't get any better than he already is is right. is amazing exactly and i think three uh, body three would have got more attention if this uh, you know obviously the virus and the timing of it You know, it, it came through the first week they they released the film. So, considering there's a lot of buzz for it, and uh, you know, I, I think people are really going to see the, the the guy has so much potential, and you know, everything he's going to do now, you know, you just see he's more versatile. So, it's good to see that by Tiger, that the sky is is not the limit anymore. All said and done, it requires a lot of hard work in whatever he's doing. I mean, relentlessly he is going about it. I said relentlessly. Tiger has been at it, and it really requires a lot of hard work, and you know, all yeah. this fitness and whatever. I mean, uh, I would of course look for. I always look for stronger stories. That's my personal choice when I go to see a movie. 
but he has a tremendous fan following in kids and that is i think takes you really further in your career i think if you have the kids on your side you're blessed yeah. you know because yeah. i always i always tell him that's the purest form of appreciation and love you know the kids yeah. are not tainted at all so i think having with the children on your side is is a blessing yeah that's exactly also what happens with rithik and uh, rithik is a marvelous actor again and uh, I mean, the more complicated the role is, the better he is. I mean, if you ask me, Guzarish, or if you ask me, Koi mil gaya, he was much better. The, as you get the role complicated for him, he emotes better. And I and I really like the way Tiger emoted in War. You know, it was absolutely fantastic. You know, you know, you yeah. he had to be restrained, and yet he had to emote because otherwise it would have gone blank and fallen apart. And I think that character also just had such a scope, uh, such a scope with the performance, right? Because there was yeah. that arc. He he was the good guy, and then right. you know the, the, he ended up being the bad guy. So he had more room for performance. Yeah. And um, it's a harder role to play as well. I think you know that's that's the biggest thing. People don't realize it's not easy to play when you're always projected as the hero. It's not easy to be projected as a villain. You know what I mean? So it takes a lot of pride to put those aside and do it. That's when you become a real performer. Uh, and that's why I was like really you look at someone Tiger, he's perfect because he's the best role model and he's so dedicated in everything he does. Like he doesn't have to train every day, he trains every day out there, like twice a day. You know, he's on it and I think uh, that's why for his success, you know, he's what he's put into it. I will definitely ask him when I meet him next how he was able to, you know, counter attack uh, Rithik in the second half. You know, he's so fond of Rithik Roshan and how did he get his emotions in place? I mean, it must be a tough job the, because Tiger is basically a soft-hearted guy at heart, you know. So, I mean, it's not a easy thing to, you know, get that transformation correct, which he did. Yeah, sure. He's, you know, the roles he portrays is so opposite to what he actually is in reality. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. so soft-spoken, gentle, just you know, very, just a very kind human being. And I always, always tell him that he's the best kind of human being. The world right. needs more people like him. Exactly. So easy going to. Krishna, just one question before uh, uh, one of the last questions. Uh, how much do Instagram comments bother you or Twitter comments bother you? Like, especially you know when you put out uh, bold pictures and you know uh, glamorous pictures and you know uh, the kind of comments which come from uh, the to, uh, these people on social media, whom I think are faceless cowards because. Ninety percent of the people, or maybe even more, we don't know who they are and where they are. So I, I don't even know that you know if if a male is writing, is he really a male or a female? But how do you take those comments? You know, especially on bold pictures. Honestly, it's never really bothered me. You know, I feel like, and I'm not just saying that to say that. Like, uh, it genuinely doesn't. I if, if I had an issue with certain comments. I probably wouldn't put those photos out there, you know. But at the end of the day, it's my page, it's my expression. I think I have the right to, and, and you know, I, I think there's a fine line between right and wrong, and I know I'll never cross that line in in my post or you know um, what I put out there, what I share with the world. And well, I just at the end of the day, I think everyone everyone should have the freedom to express themselves however they want, you know, as long as you're not harming anybody. It doesn't matter, and I think I think on my page, um, I've been pretty pretty blessed. Like I've had I've had maybe ninety percent of support or ninety five percent of support. And there's always going to be like one or two haters out there, you know, who are probably miserable in their own lives. And I feel for them. Like I don't feel for me. I feel for them. So it's it's never really gotten to me. I've I've always really um uh you know with my photos and my my platform, I receive more support than any. Iban, you check the comments below and uh, react sometimes, or uh, um, you don't even check. I try not to because you know, unless Krishna says somebody that somebody said something rude, <laughs> but she doesn't really check either. So we try not to waste that time. We just try to see positive. We see some negative, we just delete it because we don't want that. Uh, you know, want that around. Yeah. If, if somebody's really positive, you're gonna get positive reaction back. If you just and negative, we're just gonna block it. <laughs> That's the best way. We don't get caught up in that. We try to create positive and you know keep that that mindset on that 
so i said there's so much of negativity building up around us it's, i'm not talking about social media now and i it's very difficult to keep it aside if you ask me you know on everything i mean the people around you the people sometimes with you and uh, i don't know why it, so much of negativity has built up i mean i really don't What? know it's it's building it's up by the minute if you ask me it's not worth paying attention to you know at the end of the day just um, surround yourself with the people who who lift you you know you want to be around the church not be in it so i mean for me i like to keep my circle small um you know but just i just know that um at the end of the day all of that doesn't matter if you have a strong strong circle you know you're only you're only going to grow because you're as good as the company you yeah right so So yeah, I'm a big believer on that. Just hey, surround yourself with people. Right. One true friend or one true person in your life is it holds a lot more value than you know a million followers or ten right. million followers. And, and it's simple. The people that are talking negative stuff, it's their own frustrations because you know they whatever is going on in their life, they come and you know bring it in. And uh, I think that's why you can't worry because you don't know somehow you don't even know who these people are or you know they're just an acquaintance. So, like your family or people that really people in your circle will talk to you directly. They won't talk to you on social media that way. They will, you know. So that's what it comes down to. Uh, you can't really care about what everybody says, and you like you said, you focus on keeping the good, positive people around you who actually care about you. And uh, you know, that's it's that simple. You know, everything doesn't have to be put negative on social media. People need to realize that if you have a feeling about something, if it's negative, you don't need to put it out there. Leave it to yourself. You know, and, and move on to someone else's page. Absolutely, I agree with Krishna that you should have a strong circle selected whom you trust, and uh, I think uh, you know half the road is already covered. So, uh, Krishna, coming back to Jackie sitting at the farmhouse as we draw uh, to a near close on this conversation, how many times does he call up and you know wonder that you know आप क्या कर रहे हो सफाई रख रहे हो कि नहीं क्या खा रहे हो sanitize कर रहे हो what does he ask? Um, I mean, we we're in touch every day. Uh, you know, we have we have a family uh, chat on WhatsApp with the four of us. Uh, so yeah, we're we're in touch every day. We you know just send send each other our updates. Uh, dad, dad mostly talks about food because I think I think uh, you know he's found this new love for organic farming and you know um, always tries to um, share his knowledge with us about just. Uh, what what we put in our body is so important, you know. At the end of the day, we're we're so on top of our fitness, um, but we gotta watch out for our internal health as well. And I think that's it's not as important, more important than you know just the external uh, part of it. So yeah, I think we he just shares a bunch of his knowledge with us um, about food and and we we just we send each other photos and you know just just to see each other every day. We 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 take photos of the sunset. Uh, he's watching the sunset from over there. We're watching the sunset from our balcony over here. You know, so it's 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 sweet and it's nice. Like it's it's we're we're very close because it's just been the four of us for you know so long. Um, so it's it's easy to it's easy to be um, as as close as we are. Let's conclude by asking you that. Uh... Do you both believe in the institution of marriage? I'm of course not asking you the date, the year, and all that because I mean, uh, Touchwood, I I find both of you so cute, and I'm sure it's a very very strong relationship as much as I've made it out so far interacting with uh, you know uh, I mean with you on the phone, uh, Krishna in particular. But uh, yeah. do you both believe in the institution of marriage? Yeah, we we do because uh, you know obviously at the end of the day that's what we want uh, you know family the kids and and that happens a lot you know after marriage so we definitely discussed and talked about it and uh, you know it's otherwise you know we're wasting each other's time just just being in relationship forever so we want to build each other and when the timing is right we decide to take it to the next level you know so um, I think that that is key for both of us and I'll let Krishna speak on that as well. <laughs> I mean, for me, at the end of the day, it's to each their own. You know, I don't think um, I don't think people should consider consider it if they feel that um, if they feel a certain pressure. You know, when it comes to it, I think it should be authentic. It should be natural, and I think two people should do it if they genuinely believe that this is what they want to do. 
you know, at the end of the day for me, um, a commitment is a commitment whether I'm, you know, in a relationship or in a marriage. It's the same commitment. Yeah. Loyalty is important. Loyalty is everything, you know. So I think marriage shouldn't really, um, shouldn't really uh, feel like, it shouldn't feel like a pressure. It should, it should just come naturally and, mm -hmm. and it's, it, it's to each their own. So if two people decide to take it to that level, then so be it. If not, you can still have the same commitment and you know, loyalty and respect uh, towards your partner as you would otherwise. Well, I can just say that, you know, I don't want you to separate at all and uh, remain like this, but not like this in quarantine and let this lockdown get so over. I mean, it's so frustrating and uh, return back to the old days. You think, yeah, we'll, friend, you think we'll do it by April 14? You think, uh, you think we'll be doing it by April 30th? I mean, sorry, not 14, of course. I mean, I was, I was making another prediction this morning and he's just like, can we stop making predictions already? Yeah, we don't make predictions that we don't yeah. know the best here. So I think rather than giving ourselves a date and then getting frustrated when that, if it doesn't happen, it's better to not think about it too much. You just think about the now and the present yeah. and how can you enjoy the moment. You know, to make the best of the day. Um, that's that's going to be a key for all of us because keeping our mind and our health and our soul, all these things is what's important. Let's not get frustrated or down. There's fine ways to stay up. I really enjoyed this conversation. So positive and so, you know, so much in love. And I wish you all the best for every in your life. And I want you to stay together forever and ever. Oh, that's so sweet. That's really sweet. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, Krishna. And thank you, Iban. And a big, big thanks from Spot Boy. Thank you so much. Take care.